Good morning from Berlin. Um, my name is Irene Sophia Frank, and I'm going to briefly present some results on motherhood and the interaction with theory of mind processing. Our research questions are the following. So we were interested in how women theory of mind processing interacts with motherhood. So are there differences between how mothers interpret and view theory of mind and women who don't have children interpret and view theory of mind? And there are some studies that have, have looked at related processes. So for example, face processing, affect recognition, and they have found increased responses in mothers as compared to women who don't have children for both child and infant and adult stimuli. And secondly, we were interested in how this women theory of mind processing then interact with the target of their theory of mind processing. So is there a difference between using theory of mind to understand a child or an adult? And again, there is some research on related processes, but not theory of mind itself, uh, that shows that there is increased response to infants in both mothers and women who don't have children. And the experimental design that we used to investigate this was that we invited 50 women to our fMRI scanner. Uh, there were 26 mothers and 24 non-mothers. And then we showed them stimuli in our fMRI task that either had a child or an adult as the protagonist of the stimulus task. And then we were interested in how these factors interact with each other. Our hypotheses are the following. We Based on the previous literature, we thought that there would be an increased response in the theory of mind processing in mothers as compared to non-mothers, that we ha would have increased response to the child stimuli as compared to the adult stimuli. And we were also expecting interaction between the two factors, such that the difference between mothers and non-mothers would be larger when we are looking at the child stimuli as compared to the adult stimuli. Our a priori defined regions of interest have, um, included some theory of mind areas in the bilateral precuneus and posterior cingulate cortex and some emotion processing areas, the bilateral insula and the amygdala. And then our task looked like this. We showed our participants a sentence. For example, this child is going to cheer. And the sentence was followed by faces. And for each face, the participants were asked to decide as quickly and as accurately as possible whether this face matches the sentence. And to do so, they had to recognize the facial effect and then predict an action intention. So for example, if we have this child is going to cheer, this matches a happy face, but it does not match a fearful face or an angry face. And their faces were either adult or child faces. When we look at the behavioral performance in the scanner, what we found was that there was no difference between our mothers and our non-mothers. There were, was also no difference between the adult and the child stimuli. So there were absolutely no significant differences in the behavioral performance. But when we looked at the activation in our regions of interest, what we found was that mothers had increased activity in several of our regions of interest, including the bilateral, interior, uh, the bilateral insula and precuneus and posterior cingulate cortex. But none of our regions of interest were um, increased activated in non-mothers as compared to mothers. And there were also no areas associated with uh, the stimulus protagonists, so children versus adults, and also none that were associated with our interaction. So what we conclude from this data is that motherhood was associated with a stronger neural response in our data, this was increased activity in the bilateral precuneus, posterior cingulate cortex, and insula. And this emerged despite no differences in performance between the groups. We found no differences between child and adult stimuli in our regions of interest and also no interaction. So this effect of motherhood on theory of mind processing seems to be generalized and not confined to children. And that's it from my side. So thanks for your attention.